Hello, Andrew Bell here, and this little video clip is about the aims and objectives, in particular for master's level dissertations, but it may help you setting the aims and objectives for other documents that you're writing. Now, I've got previous videos on looking at research topics for master's dissertation and writing the title for a master's dissertation. And this one is particularly looking at the aims and objectives, which need to be right at the front somewhere in your introduction chapter, chapter one of your dissertation. And I say to students, don't bury your aims and objectives on page eight, nine, ten. I'd like to see, after some background to your subject, I'd like to see your aims and objectives clear on page two, three or four of your dissertation. Now, the aim is a longer version of the title. Uh, it's perhaps three sentences. Uh, aim for three sentences, uh, it could be more, but basically you need to cover three things in your aim statement. First of all, state why the research is necessary. Why is this research required? What's the problem? Secondly, what is this research all about? That's rather like a repeat of the title, but that's okay. And thirdly, state how you're going to do it. So break your aim statement into three sentences. Why is the research necessary? What is the research about? And how are you going to do it? So you should be able to do those in one sentence each. It doesn't matter if that goes into two sentences each, but the three things that you need to cover. Uh, let's have a, an example. If the project title is an investigation into project management life cycles in the automotive industry using Honda as a case study. That's my title. Um, my aim statements might be something like, I need to put that into context. There's increasing customer demand for innovation in automotive pro projects and there is oversupply in the automotive industry. Now I'm going to back up those statements in the literature review, but I'm, that's the problem. That is why this research is necessary. So what am I going to do? This project seeks to examine how project life cycles are implemented in the automotive indus in industry uh, with a particular view on the Honda Motor Company. So that sounds a lot like the title, but I've used a few extra words. And finally, the research will be conducted by case study analysis and comparison with other automotive companies. Or the research might be conducted by interviews or questionnaires, however you're going to do it. So basically, my aim statement has said, this is why it's necessary. This is what I'm going to do. And this is how I'm going to do it. Three sentences. OK, secondly, I'm going to look at objectives for your master's level dissertation. I'm going to suggest that you need to look for six to nine objectives. Now, look, I come into a bit of criticism for having so many objectives, but as long as you write them correctly, then this isn't really a problem. Some people say it begins to read like a task list, but I'm a project manager. I'm breaking my project down into individual steps or work packages. So why don't we use those um, as the objectives? I want these nine objectives to tell a story through the dissertation just by reading the verbs in the objectives. So if we're going to have six to nine objectives, we want to make sure that two apply to the literature review, two or three apply to the research methods, and two or three apply to the critical evaluation or the discussion area. So you may want to have um, some objectives that demonstrate you've got the knowledge, the literature review, um, using verbs like research, study, examine, investigate. And then you may have two or three objectives about the research methodology, um, collect data, to select interviewees, to issue questionnaires, to analyse returns, results. And then you may have two or three objectives that are about the critical evaluation in your discussion to analyse, to compare, to discuss, to evaluate. 
and then right at the end to conclude, to recommend. So just reading that set of verbs sort of sets the scene. I'm researching, I'm examining, I'm selecting, I'm investigating case studies, I'm comparing, I'm evaluating, I'm analysing, I'm concluding and I'm recommending. Now, looking for the higher level verbs from Bloom's taxonomy as you write those nine objectives. And there is um, no reason to repeat a verb in those objectives. I mean, I've, I've used 10, 12 different verbs that you could use in your objectives in this short video clip. There's probably 30, 40, 50 different verbs that you could use that mean very much the same thing, but it just doesn't look lazy if you're going to research this and to research that, and then I'm going to research a case study, and then I'm going to research this. It, it doesn't look good. So just reading the verbs should be like a story through your dissertation. And that's it. Um, in the short video clip, we've looked at uh, how the aim for your master's dissertation could be three sentences. What is it about? Why is it required? How are you going to do it? And how you could have six to nine objectives using high level verbs from Bloom's taxonomy, making sure you don't repeat those verbs, and making sure it reads like a story through the literature review, the research methodology, and the critical evaluation. Thank you for listening.